Hello everyone, today we are going to study about high temperature short time pasteurization. It is a pasteurization technique where the product is heated at 72 degrees Celsius for a time period of 15 seconds. This is the flow diagram for STST pasteurization. Firstly, there is a raw product tank where we are storing our raw product. From the raw product tank, the product reaches the constant head tank and from the constant head tank, the product is pumped into a flow controller with the help of a product pump. The aim of the flow controller is to regulate the flow rate of the product. From the flow controller, the product reaches the regeneration section. Regeneration section is used for heating the product. Uh, here, the milk that comes from the raw product tank uh, is at a lower temperature. So, we have to heat the milk for pasteurization. Heating this milk, uh, we will uh, put this uh, cold milk in contact with the hot milk. This hot milk is actually the milk that is pasteurized in the previous batch. The milk that was pasteurized in the previous batch needs to be cold before packaging. So that hot milk uh, is used for heating this cold milk from the raw product tank. And that is what uh, happens in regeneration section. From the regeneration section, the milk releases the filter or clarifier which is used for filtration purpose. And from there, the milk releases the homogenizer where homogenization is done. What is homogenization? Milk consists of a large number of fat globules. When these fat globules are present in milk, when we keep this milk for some period of time, these fat globules will accumulate at the top and it will form a fat layer at the top. So in order to prevent this process, we have to reduce the size of these fat globules. That process is called as homogenization and it is performed in this homogenizer. From the homogenizer, the milk releases the heating section. Already I have told you uh, in the regeneration section we are heating the milk but it is not possible to heat the milk up to 72 degrees Celsius in this section. Uh, we can heat the milk only up to a particular extent. The remaining heating up to 72 degrees Celsius is carried out in this uh, heating section. Okay, From the heating section the milk reaches the halting tube because uh, in pasteurization we have to keep the milk, we have to hold the milk at 72 degrees Celsius for a time period of 15 seconds. So, um, this halting tube is used for holding the uh, milk at 72 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds. Okay. From the halting tube, the milk raises the flow diversion valve. If the milk that raises the flow diversion valve is properly pasteurized, it will flow onto the next section. Otherwise, this flow diversion valve will return the milk into constant head tank. If the milk is properly pasteurized, then it will raise the next section. That is the regeneration section. In this regeneration section, uh, actually the milk is cooled. The milk that uh, passes the flow diversion valve will be at 72 degrees Celsius. It is not possible to uh, pack this milk at this uh, higher temperature. So, we have to cool the milk. This cooling is performed in this regeneration section. For cooling this hot milk, we have to keep this hot milk in contact with the cold milk. Uh, actually, the cold milk that we are using here is the milk that is to be pasteurized in the nest batch. Okay. From the regeneration section, the milk raises the cooling section because it is not possible to cool the milk uh, to a very lower temperature in regeneration section. Only we can cool up to a particular uh, temperature. The remaining cooling is carried out in this cooling section. And from the cooling section, um, we obtain the pasteurized product. And this is the flow diagram for HTST pasteurization. Okay.